In this tip of the week, we will look at how to use rubrics in My Classes Canvas. Rubrics are used to communicate assessment expectations to users and can be used to align course assessments with learning outcomes. To create a rubric in your course, click on the Outcomes tab, then click on the ellipsis and select Manage Rubrics from the drop-down. Here, you will see all existing rubrics for the course if any have been created. If not, this space may be empty. From this page, you can edit existing rubrics or create new rubrics. To create a new rubric, click the Add Rubric button. You can add a title to your rubric, and then start filling out the criterion descriptions by clicking the edit icon, which is the pencil symbol. You can also add a longer description if you want to include more information to the criterion. When you are done, click update criterion. Next, you can add rating details for each criteria. By default, rubrics have two rating columns, full marks and no marks. If you would like to add more columns for rating criterion, click on the plus button in between ratings. As you may have noticed, a point value is auto-generated based on the highest point value possible for that criteria of 5 points. If you want to adjust the automated point system, you can manually change how much each rating gets. Points can be whole numbers or decimal numbers. You can also click the checkbox next to range to add a point range for each rating description. However, if you use a range of points, you should use whole numbers. Once you've adjusted the point values for each rating, you can add more details on how to achieve full marks, partial marks, or no marks. You can give the ratings different titles, or you can omit titles altogether. To add an additional criterion for grading, click the Add Criterion option and a drop-down menu will appear. You can add a new criterion where you complete the same steps, or you can duplicate a criterion if the wording is the same or similar, or the points are the same, and you can just adjust the elements of the duplicated criterion to make it unique. Right now I only have one criterion to choose from, so I will duplicate length. To delete a criteria, click the trash can next to the edit button for that criteria description. If you have pre-existing defined outcomes for the course that you would like to attach the rubric to, you can click on the find outcome option to search for the appropriate outcome. Outcomes will not include points that add into the total score of the rubric. When you have completed filling out the rubric information, click the create rubric button. To delete the rubric altogether, Click on the trash can icon. If you want to make changes to any rubric that you have created, click into the rubric and click Edit Rubric. If you edit a rubric in the Manage Rubrics tab that is already attached to an activity, therefore it is in use, when you save your edits, a new rubric will be created with your changes. To attach a rubric to an assignment, navigate to the Assignments tab, select your assignment, and click on the Add Rubric option. You can either create a new rubric in this area, or you can attach an already created rubric. To attach a rubric you already created in the Outcomes area, select the Find a Rubric option. Select the course that the rubric is in if it's not already chosen. Then select the rubric you want to use. Once you have the rubric selected, click Use this rubric. You may have to scroll to find this button. If you have attached an existing rubric, you will have to click Edit if you would like to use the rubric for grading. Scroll down to the bottom and click Use this rubric for assignment grading. 
then click Update Rubric. When creating the assignment, if you set a total number of points that's different from the amount of points they can earn on the rubric, you will receive a warning if you are using the rubric for grading that the rubric will allow students to earn more or less than the amount that you assigned when you created the original assignment. In order to make sure that the point value of the rubric matches the point value of the assignment, click Change. The assignment will be updated to match the total of the grading rubric. You can use an existing rubric on multiple assignments, but you will have to edit the rubric in each assignment to select the option to use it for grading. If you would like to add a rubric to a discussion, you must first click into the discussion. To attach the rubric, click the settings or options and a drop down menu will appear. Select add rubric. Here, you can create or find a rubric as you do with any other assignment. Once again, find the course and rubric that you would like to use, and then click Use this rubric to attach it to the discussion. After you have added a rubric to a discussion, the drop-down menu will now say Show Rubric. A discussion will only have the option to attach a rubric if it has been checked to be used for grading. As with assignments, if you would like to use a discussion rubric for grading, you will have to click the Edit Rubric icon and click Use this rubric for assignment grading, then update the rubric. As before, if your points don't match the rubric, you will be prompted to change it. If you would like to attach a rubric to a quiz, you will have to click into the quiz you want to add the rubric to. From the Settings icon or the Options icon, you will see Show Rubric whether there is an existing rubric or not. Click Show Rubric, and you will be prompted to add a rubric since one has not been attached to this quiz previously. Once again, you can create or find a rubric to attach to the quiz. Once you have added the rubric, you will see it in the pop-down every time you click Show Rubric. A rubric attached to a quiz cannot be set for rubric grading because the total point values of the quiz questions determine the quiz grade. Therefore, the option to use this rubric for assignment grading is not available in the quiz feature. For each assignment that you have attached a graded rubric to, you can use that rubric in the speed grader. You will click View Rubric, and each box you select will tally up the points so that when you save the rubric, a point value is auto-calculated, therefore grading with the rubric. You can add additional comments before you submit the score. If you are grading with a rubric that has a point range allotted, when you click on the box for that point range, it will default to the highest possible value, but you can always change it to fall within that range. You can also add comments for each criterion. Then press Save, and again it will auto-calculate the points. I have to go back and fill in the rest of the rubric for the full points to be allotted. Additionally, if you use the rubric for grading, you can still change the grade as needed. For example, if you wanted to give extra credit points, you can add points higher than the amount that can be earned with the rubric. Thank you for watching this tip of the week. For more information, please refer to the following guides.